all you're gonna need for this exercise is a, a sturdy wall, nothing that's gonna tip over when you go and lean against it, and then a stability ball here. You've got an average size one here. Basically, a good size for you is anything that when you go ahead and sit on it, your knees are at 90 degrees. Just like so. So what we're gonna do for this is you're gonna go ahead and put the ball against the wall. Obviously, it's not gonna stay here by itself. So you're gonna go ahead and step in front of it, place the ball at the small of your back, then you're gonna go ahead and walk your feet away. I know it seems scary walking away, you're not gonna fall over, trust me. Just walk your feet out a little bit so you're at a comfortable distance away from the wall. Now from here, you're gonna go ahead and lower yourself down into, this, into a seated position. You want it to like to about 90 degrees. This is too easy for you, you can go ahead and drop it a little bit lower, but just be conscious of your knees and how they're feeling during the exercise. Now if this is too easy, go ahead and amp it up a little bit. You can walk your feet down to center. Pick which foot you want to first. Put the foot back against the wall here, and then go ahead and squat down here. Having the foot against the wall stabilizes you. If you also do this exercise out here, I'd be wobbling all over the place. By putting the foot on sturdily against the wall, we're able to lower and do as many reps as we'd like. I used to just 8 to 12 without wobbling all over this or you know, falling over or hurting ourselves. And make sure you do the same number on both legs. This exercise is great for our hamstrings, our quads, and our glutes. And doing the single leg version just amps it up a little bit without even adding any additional supplies, weights, resistance of any sort. So that is the ball squat. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you here around the JCC.